you are no longer people's punching bag. You are no longer people's gump, just like Forrest Gump. Tell people to start putting some respect on your name. These people that don't want to put respect on your name and who you are as a person, tell them to kick rocks and don't come back. Don't you come back no more. Tell them to hit the road jack and don't come back no more. They didn't respect you. They didn't honor you, but they want to come back and use you, abuse you, mistreat you. Don't let these type of people come back. I don't care if it's a love relationship. I don't care if it's a family member. I don't care if it's a cousin, whoever it is. If they disrespected you and they never really properly apologized to you, don't let them people back in because they only want to use, abuse, and see what you will be willing to put up with. They want you to put up with their disrespect. They want you to put up with their bum personalities, bum behavior. They want you to put up with their ridicule because these people really ain't got nothing going for themselves. That's why they disrespect. That's why they treat you like you're nothing compared to them. Because they ain't got nothing going for themselves. Stay away from these losers. These people that ain't got no life goals. No life journey. No life destiny. Stay away from people like that. You are not their punching bag. See, they tried to make you the punching bag for so long. But then you blew up. You elevate it. You start becoming wiser. You learn from them past hurts and mistakes that you made. You start becoming better. And you realize that you worth more than the disrespect these people wanted you to suffer from. Yes, you were worth way more than that. Worth more than the slander, the ridicule. You worth more than people just mistreating you because they feel like they can. You don't deserve mistreatment. You deserve respect. You stand on your own two feet. You deserve respect. And if they can't respect you, they need to get out your way. Get out your way and let you flourish and grow into the person that you're called to be by God. Let you live. Let you be happy. These people didn't even want you to be happy. They wanted you to be miserable like them. But they want you to come back and entertain while they talk to you crazy? I don't think so. I don't care if it's your mother or your father. If they can't respect you for the adult that you are, they don't deserve to be in your life or around you. Let them be miserable where they at. Let them be over there and you continue to flourish over here wherever God got you for your season. You ain't got to go back. You don't miss these people that bad. People think you're supposed to miss them after they know they mistreated you. Oh, You'll be back. That's the arrogance these people have in their mind. You'll be back. You're not coming back to trash. You're not coming back to junk. You're not coming back to disrespect. You're not coming back to people that's going to give you anxiety. You're not coming back to bum, broke, miserable people. You're not coming back to drug addicts. <laughs> You're not coming back to none of that. Because you know who you are. You know that God worked on you. You know his precious Holy Spirit worked on you. You know he worked on you for the better. It wasn't easy you getting to where you are today. So why go back to misery loves company? Why go back to people that's not going to see your worth and value? Why go back to people that don't see your growth? These people got a problem with themselves. But yet they will try to make you their problem. Because they got a problem really with themselves. And then they want to project their insecurities on you. Don't let people do that no more. I don't care if it's your toxic mother. Don't let her project her insecurities on you because she ain't do what she was supposed to do for her life. She chose to not set any goals for herself. She chose to go off on the wrong path. And now that you're her child and you're growing up and to the beautiful woman or man that you are today, she got a problem with that because she ain't did nothing with herself. It ain't your fault. It's not your fault. It ain't your fault that you chose better for yourself. It ain't your fault that you chose to be independent, bright. It ain't your fault you chose the higher things in life. You didn't want to settle. 
You didn't want to settle. You wanted to do better things and you worked hard to get where you are. Know your success did not come overnight. That's what people fail to realize. It took time and effort. Yeah, you made a few mistakes on the way. You bumped your head a few times, but you learned and you got back up and you tried again. You got back up and you tried again. No, you didn't succeed the first time. Shout out to Aaliyah for making that song, Try Again. You didn't succeed the first time, but you dusted yourself off and you tried again. That's what you're supposed to do. Try again. At first you don't succeed. You can dust yourself off and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. Try again. I said at first you don't succeed. You can dust it off and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. Try again. You don't want to throw it all away. I might be shy on the first day. What about the next day? Huh? 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 <laughs> you tried again. Try again. It took you a long time to get where you are. So don't let these people that had a problem with you from your past come back and mess up nothing for your future. Nothing. They don't deserve that right to mess up anything for your future. You are not their punching bag. You are not these people losers back in the day that you grew up around. You're not a loser. They are the losers. They not doing nothing with themselves, but they got a problem with you. The only reason why they got a problem with you, anybody from your past that got a problem with you, they don't have a problem with you. They're hateful, they're spiteful, and they jealous. They got a problem with themselves. You ain't did nothing to these people. They thought you was going to come back and be their punching bag. That's why they mad at you. Anybody from your past that had a problem with you, they mad at you because you won't be their punching bag because you grew and elevated and they didn't. They're jealous. They won't tell you they jealous. Just say you jealous. Just say you jealous of me. That's all you got to say. You ain't got to act like I'm the problem. Just say you jealous. <laughs> That's what these people need to say. Just say they jealous. They're envious. They got a problem with you because they really got a problem with themselves. They ain't go nowhere in life. Mad because you was beautiful. Mad because you was the light in your community. But you didn't fit in. They didn't want you to fit in. Because you wasn't supposed to fit in with them. <laughs> Don't worry about not fitting in with, with these people that want to make you their punching bag. It wasn't meant for you to fit in where you wouldn't prosper. Because God called you to prosper. God called you to make this world a better place. They chose their addictions. They chose their drugs. They chose whatever they chose. It ain't got nothing to do with you. I had a dream, a prophetic dream, about a past hater that I knew back from high school and grade school. This was a female, but I won't say no names. Well, in this dream, she had four other people that she was talking to about me. And they all decided to FaceTime me. This was the dream I got. And tell me how they had a problem with me, a person I didn't even know. Because she was running her mouth to these other people and they wanted to tell me about me. And in a dream, I basically just looked kind of confused. And then I was just like, I, I don't know where the phone went after that. But I don't know. I probably threw it somewhere. I don't know. But I know that was the dream that I got. And it's like God was telling me, you got people triggered. You got people triggered because you are not the same. You're not going back to be the punching bag like you were before. These people thought I was going to be their punching bag for so long. People from my hometown in high school. They thought I was going to be that same person. No, no. You ain't got no respect. You get blocked. <laughs> and that's what I did. So I guess in a dream, this particular individual was feeling some type of way about that. And she wanted to say something to me along with three or four of the people that she knew. <laughs> I don't want to hear none of y'all. <laughs> la, 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 la. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't know why you got a problem with me. I don't know you. I don't even know why you got a problem with me. I never did nothing to you. And you you got a problem too? I don't care. That's just what the dream show me. Y'all, they could be watching my YouTube channel. They could be watching my social media. Who knows? Who knows? 
people think you're going to be their punching bag. And you telling people time and time again when you move forward and you don't you don't lower yourself to what they behave like, like the crabs in a the barrel they are, they're going to have a problem with you because you're not lowering yourself to their mentality, their toxic, negative, ignorant mentality. You said, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to act a fool with you. I'm not going to be stupid with you. This is what you're telling these people. I'm not going to let you come and trigger me and my emotions because you miserable, envious, jealous, and just a downright loser, whatever you are. You're not going to come and affect me and my energy because you got a problem with yourself and you're trying to make me and project on me your problems. And that dream was for somebody to let people know or let you know that that's what people will do when they ain't got nothing going for themselves. They'll make you their problem. Don't let people make you their problem. The issue they got with you ain't got nothing to do with you. It got something to do with them and the way they think. And you ain't finna help nobody. You ain't gotta help nobody. <laughs> Time's ticking. You gotta move forward in your life purpose. But they want you to look back and be miserable like them. Find reasons to fight you and be stupid with you because they got problems with themselves. You ain't got time. They should have loved you. They should have honored you. They should have respected you. But these people didn't want to do that. So this is why you moved forward. Now they got a problem with that too. They got a problem with you moving forward and not entertaining. They mess. And because you chose distance over foolishness. You chose distance. You're going, you're in a new state. You're shining. You're doing you. Some of you just bought you a new house. Some of you just bought a new car. Some of you bought two or three cars just now. Because God is elevating you. And God is saying, no, you ain't got to let people know nothing. How he's blessing you. Because it's none of their business. If they're not coming in to help you. Or they're not coming to... You know, bring something to the table. They don't deserve to be around you. God said, move forward from these people. Move forward. You don't need them in your energy no more. They can't even respect you. They want to constantly make you their punching bag. And God said, no, no. No, no. Know your worth. Because you know your worth and value right now, these people are just triggered. Let them be triggered. Let them be mad and miserable. Whoever is triggered in your life about you and who you are and what you stand for. Ain't got nothing to do with you. They got a problem with themselves. They need to get to know God for themselves. And maybe they wouldn't be so miserable and toxic. You don't do toxic energy. You don't do low vibrational energy. You're vibrating high. And you need to deal with other people that's vibrating high just like you. And if they can't do that, then they're not the people for you. You no longer will be nobody's punching bag. God said that's done. No. If they can't honor you for the woman you are today, not from how they knew you back then, 10, 20, 30 years ago, they can't honor you for the woman you are today, then they don't deserve to be your friend. They don't deserve to be your family. They don't deserve to be anything to you. Just keep your distance and move forward in your faith and let them hate on you from a distance if that's what they want to do a hater always going to be a hater you continue to be great in your life purpose and journey because god said you truly did earn it you worked to get where you are they didn't put in the work with you you did that alone you and god so if people hate on you about that that's their problem that's their heart issue not yours and that's the prophetic message i got for a worry one you are no longer people's punching bag. No. You are to be treated like royalty. From this day forward. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.